video is on limiting reactants and excess reactants. So, what is a limiting reactant? Well, it's abbreviated as capital LR, and it's the substance that controls the quantity of product that can be formed in a chemical reaction. This is the reactant that gets used up first. Your excess reactant, abbreviated ER, is a substance that is in excess or that is more than enough. This is the reactant that is not all used up or you have excess of. So I feel like if you were making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you only had a tablespoon of peanut butter, but you had three tablespoons of jelly. Well, when you make your sandwich, you're probably only going to use enough jelly to compensate with that peanut butter. Therefore, you might have excess jelly left over. This would be your excess reactant, whereas your peanut butter would be your limiting reactant. So let's go through an example. How many grams of ammonia, NH3, can be produced from 40 grams of nitrogen and 75 grams of hydrogen gas? Well, rule number one, or step one, is we need to make a balanced chemical equation. Well, I have N2 plus H2 yields ammonia. I need one um, coefficient in front of my nitrogen, three in front of my hydrogen, and two in front of my ammonia. This is the same reaction we've been using for quite a few examples. Next, I need to convert both reactants to the moles of the product I'm looking for. In this case, it's ammonia. Now remember that I can compare moles of one thing to moles of another because they're going to be equal. So by converting both to moles, I can easily see which one makes the least amount of moles of ammonia, which is going to be my limiting reactant. So I take my grams of nitrogen, and I use my molar mass of nitrogen, 28.02 grams per one mole, and my moles to mole ratio of nitrogen to ammonia, one mole of nitrogen per two moles of ammonia, and I get 2.86 moles of ammonia. Then I do the same thing for my hydrogen. Take my 75 grams of hydrogen, convert from grams to moles via my molar mass of 2.02 grams per one mole of hydrogen, and then my mole to mole ratio of hydrogen to ammonia to determine how many moles of ammonia I'd make. So with my 40 grams of nitrogen, I can make 2.86 moles of ammonia gas. And with my 75 grams of hydrogen, I can make 25 moles of nitrogen gas. Now, I can only make as much as my limiting reactant allows me to. So therefore, I'm only going to be able to make 2.86 moles of ammonia because once I've made that much, all of my nitrogen has been used up. So this is my limiting reactant. Then my hydrogen, well, I could continue on if I had enough nitrogen to keep making up to 25 moles of, of ammonia. So this becomes my excess reactant. So then I take my amount that I can only make, my moles of ammonia, my 2.86, and then I'm going to convert that to grams to figure out, well, how many grams of ammonia is that? So I take my 2.86 moles of ammonia, and I use this molar mass of one mole of 17.04 grams of ammonia, and I get 48.7 grams of ammonia as my actual amount that can be made based on my limiting reactant of 40 grams of nitrogen gas. Let's go through example number two. How many molecules of water can be produced from the reaction of 12 grams of hydrogen with 90.0 grams of oxygen? Well, first up, I need to write my balanced reaction. Well, this tells me that I'm producing water from hydrogen and oxygen, so I need H2 plus O2 yields H2O. To have this balanced reaction, I need to have a 2 here, a 2 here, and a 1 here. Next, I want to convert both reactants to molecules of product. So I am going from grams of hydrogen and grams of oxygen, both to grams, or excuse me, molecules of product. So I start with 12.0 grams of hydrogen, and I need to convert that to molecules of water. So you need to go from grams of hydrogen to moles of hydrogen, from moles of hydrogen to moles of water. It's across my mole to mole ratio causeway. And then from moles of water, I can go to molecules of water. 
using Avogadro's number. So I know that my molar mass from grams to moles, I have 2.02 grams of hydrogen for every one mole of hydrogen. My moles to mole ratio of hydrogen to water, I have 2 moles of hydrogen for every 2 moles of water. And I know via Avogadro's number that for every 1 mole of H2O, I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water. And that gets me 3.61 times 10 to the 24th molecules 